Hi, this is Liam Bowler with Dynamic Alignment Bodywork and doing my first video blog ever, which is cool, uh, to answer a question that I didn't feel like was as justified in writing. Uh, a client of mine wrote and asked uh, about a tendon pulley injury, which is a long tendon that comes on this side of the hand that he got from climbing, from squeezing really hard, and he had talked about uh, sorry that he had missed my clinic, which was last week, that I co-taught with a physical therapist um, about preventing climbing injury and how, to, how a balanced system um, leads to healthier, certainly in the long term, climbing. Uh, so I want to answer his question in two parts. But first, his question is, um, said he that did the tendon pulley injury, heard a pop when he was climbing, and uh, he said he's doing heat and cold and arnica and self-massage and laying off climbing, um, and is that good, and did I have any other ideas? Uh, so the two parts I want to answer this, one I'll do in this video, which is that short-term arc, that heat-cold question, and then in part two, um, after I've answered that, I'll do another video talking about looking more upstream, less about how to deal with this right now as it presents itself, but uh, for this gentleman to prevent this from happening again in the future, or to do his best to prevent that. Uh, and certainly for anyone else watching this out there that might be in a similar boat. So first, uh, part one. Um, injury happened just yesterday, it sounds like from this email. And um, in terms of what to do right now in the short term, one and uh, foremost, I would say, call a really good physical therapist uh, or doctor of any sort that you, uh, that you trust with this kind of thing. Um, they're going to be able to give you a lot better and detailed answer and actually be able to look at your hand um, and have probably a better short-term plan than I can offer you in a generic version on this video. Uh, that said, let me offer up a couple of general um, things to keep in mind, and general principles when treating an acute injury like a tendon pulley pop. One of those principles is, in general, um, ice, so dampening inflammation wherever there's a pull, is going to be your friend, so to speak, more so than heat. Um, your body is already producing a lot of heat, uh, and so in terms of getting more blood flow to the area, which inflammation tends to stifle, um, icing about 10 minutes in a go several times a day, at least for these first few days, before introducing heat into the cycle. Again, your body's in general producing a lot of heat right now uh, in the terms of inflammation. So to keep locally the blood flow happening, um, ice is a great tool for that better than non-steroidal anti-inflammatories like ibuprofen, um, which have a more systemic, will have an entirely systemic and global effect, as well as the injured part. So ice is nice because it can really target this without the negative effects of the whole body. Uh, so I'd wait on heat, but also wait on any sort of self-massage. Uh, that'll be handy, certainly well down the road, but again, for right now, this part that you pulled is very much in repair mode. Um, massage is great for mobilizing the tissues and aligning tissue as it starts to heal, it's not healing yet. It's still, uh, that's not true, it's not rebuilding yet as much as in a, in a breakdown mode, clean up, the big cells called macrophages come in and are uh, cleaning up as well as introducing again this heat, this inflammation as a really important part of the breakdown process. Um, and you said you're taking Arnica, that's great, uh, Arnica Montana homeopathic remedy that I'm not a homeopathic doctor by any stretch, and I've had really good luck with that, personally. Um, and what's the last thing you said that I'm looking at? Oh, and rest is <laughs> a great idea. Yep, don't push it. Again, having a good conversation with the PT, but now is not the time at all to go back to climbing or being like, ah, oh, maybe I can just get, get, and it'll, it'll last forever. Uh, this is definitely speaking the language of my sport, with climbing, though I'm any overuse injury or even traumatic injury from a sport, um, now is definitely the time to rest, 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 for depending on the severity, but at least a few weeks. Uh, and when you reintroduce climbing, doing that very, very slowly without any pain, if you experience pain at the site, stop, go back to ground zero. Uh, part two coming up.